Okay, I wanted to show the insides of these uh, drive-by wire throttle bodies. What I found was this throttle, it sticks open because of the, I guess the idle RPM. So what happens is the, this is the open. But to get it to close that extra little bit, it pushes against this stop here underneath. Right there, this little arm hits against that black arm, which is under... that little black arm down there. So in order to keep that from hitting, I just took off the whole gear. I cut off the gear. But if you have to, you can just go in and cut off the little black part of this arm here. You can just cut off the little top of that arm and leave the white gear on there because I kind of had to butcher the gear to get it off. And that'll make it clear where now my throttle my throttle closes all the way now so I don't have to have such a tight uh, return spring on my throttle arm and what I'm going to do to get my uh, idle air control setting set where I need it which is about 20 at idle I'm just going to put a, a throttle stop uh, screw on my arm by where the cable is going to pull it. So, okay, so I just wanted to take the quick video of that little gear that I took off, which is right there. And it's on this one. Just to show what I had to do to make that throttle close all the way. Okay, so just a up, quick update. Alright, this is probably a uh, Close to my last video I'm taking of this thing while it's on a stand it's all ready to go I'm just gonna tear it down paint it and then probably stick this in the car but I wanted to show you my updates get this thing ready for the car this is my other easy FI system that I just purchased on eBay it was all brand new never used so everything was still marked with all the connectors on here I shortened all the wires Tape them all together at the end. The ones, uh, the sensors that need to go up in front go underneath the intake. The wiring that comes to the back and to the sides are for the injectors. I had to put pigtails on for these uh, style injectors. I think uh, these all the pigtails came off of my uh, MDS wiring harness for those solenoids. You get four of them and they happen to fit the injectors too. So uh, the Easy FI multi-port kit that I had came with a Bosch style injector connector so I had to cut those off and put these on there once I shortened the wires so everything's nice and neat. But I think these are EV2, EV16 connectors. You can get them off of eBay if you just search for EV16. And I think the whole set of eight are around $14 for free shipping. You know, eBay my, eBay my favorite favorite place to get junk okay so I want to show you the update on my throttle body here I had to hook it up to my gas pedal okay like I said before throttle drive-by wires there's there seems to be a hesitation plus you need the factory computers so what I did was uh, bought a universal throttle cable kit off of eBay and I just needed one with a longer cable to reach my gas pedal. I'm not sure if this is going to be long enough till I actually fit it in the car, but I can always put a different sleeve on it. But to show you what I did here, this, uh, this clip was up here. I don't know what this clip was for, but I never saw this engine in the car. Put a piece of vacuum hose around it. I gave it some uh, bend here so that it's angled down on my arm. Okay, so on the arm, 
this is what the arms look like here. The throttle kit little threaded bolt down at the bottom doesn't thread it's a different thread it's like a 1024 instead of a 1032 thread so that's different so what I do is I made a plate with two holes that screwed into the back of this thing I don't know if you can see that can I get the right position here All right see there's that plate it screws on in the back and I've got other adjustment holes in there in case I want to vary the ratio that's why you see three holes there so it's just screwed onto the back and it also has a little spot where it goes down and it hits my throttle my screw throttle stop screw to crack it open a little bit so I also made a plate also made this plate I just cut it out of a piece of metal this side is notched so I can slide it over the bolt because this bolt can't come all the way out without taking off this tensioner so what I do is I just loosen it I slide that plate underneath it with my notch and this one has a hole so that can be uh, fully captured in case those bolts ever have to come all the way off but uh this gives me this plate just has a nut welded onto it and here's my stop nut and this is my adjustment so once I get it to a certain position on the computer so that the idle air control motor can work you lock that down and you tell the computer where your new uh, idle position is so it knows your TPS is at zero so wanted to show you that You can hear the injectors prime. The idle motor always sits at around 90 when you park. So when you shut off your, this is my, like my ignition switch, my switch 12 volts. But this is the main power that turns on the whole uh, computer. So that's why it's important to have your hot wire. Here's my hot wire right off the computer and here's my ground wire that come right off of this wiring harness it's important that these two wire, main wires plug in right from the come in right from the battery and they don't want you hooking it to any junction anywhere besides right to the battery so it eliminates noise but when you turn off your main ignition key that's why you still have to have power to the unit so it can park this motor so after you shut off your car, it always homes that motor, that idle air control motor, and then it puts it all the way to zero, and then it opens it back up to 90, just so it's ready for the next uh, firing, you know, just so it can idle and catch itself. So this thing starts right up, and I'll show you that that thing is close to 20 when it's running. <laughs> It's just to show you that it was going down towards 20 where I have it set and without this stop screw in there you're not going to be able to uh, get that close that idle control motor to uh, be in its home position at idle or else it's not going to work so it, you have to have a way of cracking this throttle a little bit but in my other uh, I had this apart and I don't know if that I'm going to be able to put that video in front of this one, but it just shows me uh, removing a gear in here just so that that second spring isn't holding my throttle open even more. So if you want a second, there's a pretty good spring in there, but if you want a second spring on here, you can always add a second arm like this and then maybe put a spring between here and the arm. Here's another hole down here just to help pull it back 
before you do that, you need to get in there and cut off the little black arm on the one of the wheels. You can leave the rest of that white gear in there, which I already pulled out, but there's just a little black arm you can cut off and that makes this throttle return all the way to closed. So if you need a second spring on here, you can always uh, add a second arm. I think these arms are um, a little over $7 on eBay. All right, so uh, this thing's coming apart. Uh, just a quick recap to get this engine to fit in your e-body, maybe other bodies too, you just need your Milladon, Milladon, however you say it, 3100 oil pan. I think it's a 31,000, so you 1000. You need uh, your TTI mounts. That's what these are. I just have steel mounts in this thing for my engine stand, but I'm probably going to use the rubber mounts. Once I put it in the car and put a strap on one side to keep that rubber mount from tearing stuff up in case it pulls apart. But here's the TTI mount on this side. I don't know if you can see that. You need the oil pan. You need the TTI mount. This thing's getting a four speed behind it. So all I needed was that conversion flywheel. Got it for $300 shipped from, uh, I think, Colorado Speed. And that's all you need so far to throw that in there, make it fit. These exhaust manifolds came out of the three Chrysler 300 that came with this motor, but I took off this heat shield and there was a rib, just a center rib on the exhaust manifold. I shaved it down a little bit so I could hammer this in and keep it from touching my uh, steering box. Okay, so nothing's touching the steering box. It's close just not touching so that's the hard part just get this thing in the car and then you can figure out how to uh, get everything else hooked up remember that AC compressor with that out of a Dodge Stratus or Cirrus and okay so uh, this thing's coming apart wanted to make sure you guys saw my uh, my throttle Showing how I did that. It's the straight shot. And we're going to go from there. This thing's getting torn down and it's getting painted. So, next video will probably be uh, the CUDA with the engine out, getting the engine compartment painted, and then this thing going in.